I know it's probably one of my favorite Module C prescribed hacks because it has some awesome images that you can use in any of the three styles, imaginative, discursive, or persuasive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick run through of the techniques in here. And then in the next video, I'm going to give a bit of discussion of how you can actually incorporate that into your own piece of writing. So if we have a look here, um, obviously, um, if you read through the poem, it's all about a girl who is super innocent. And then she thinks that she can kind of take matters of life and death into uh, to her own hands without fully understanding the ramifications of that. And she shoots and an owl um, with her father's gun and it's just pretty awful. So if we have a look at some of the initial images, you've got, you know, the fact that like I rose blessed by the sun. So there's some religious imagery giving that idea of like innocence and um, purity. Um, they do call her a horny fiend. So horny obviously being horns of a devil. Um, so the evil qualities that she has, which kind of contrasts obviously that that blessed by the sun idea that they had in the initial in the previous line. Um, says, I crept out with my father's gun, let him dream of an obedient angel mind, old no say a robbed of power by sleep. So she's the obedient angel mind that he's gonna be dreaming about the dad <laughs> who has no power and can't say anything because he's sleeping. Um, and what she's done here, she she's going to find this out. So I knew my prize who swooped home at this hour with daylight riddled eyes to his place on a high beam in our old stables to dream. So that's the the prize is the owl and that's where she's kind of been tracking him and she's she's after him <laughs> basically. Um, and then if we have a look here, you've got this image of her being the master of life and death. That's a good one. And I'll come back to why later, because that's something you can incorporate into your own piece of writing. But anyway, let's stick to the analysis here. So you've got her being the master of life and death. Um, probably a metaphor, I would say, um, or even a hyperbole. She's not the master of life and death. It's kind of exaggerated. Um, but in this particular instance, she does have control over life and death for this particular poor owl who, um, and she is the wisp head judge, again, metaphor, um, whose law, her law, would punish beak and claw. That's the owl. My first shot struck. So have a look at how simple that particular sentence is. That's a really great technique to use in imaginative writing even, or even discussive and persuasive. The short truncated sentence that has that high impact. My first shot struck. He swayed, ruined, and this is pretty gruesome, beating over his only wing as I watched, afraid by the fallen gun. So now she's kind of gone, oh, my God, this was not what I was expecting. Um, a lonely child who believed death clean and final, not this obscene bundle of stuff that dropped and dribbled through the loose straw, tangling in boughs and hopped blindly closer. So pretty gruesome imagery there about the dribbled and the loose straw tangling in boughs. Um, so she's obviously shot this bird, he's not quite dead, and now it's kind of like dying in front of her. I saw those eyes that did not see mirror my cruelty. So the owl's blind, can't see, but she can see her own cruelty in his eyes. Pretty cool image there. Um, while the wrecked thing that could not bear the light nor hide hobbled in his own blood. Again, really gruesome imagery there. Um, very high impact in terms of looking at the um, what this child has done and really horrific for her. My father reached my side, gave me the fallen gun, end what you have begun. So he's obviously woken up, come along, and she's got to now take full responsibility for the situation and kill the poor um, animal who is now suffering. So lots of themes there about growing up, um, realising the reality of death um, and, uh, you know, yeah, and um, also uh, looking at the impact of what this child's done on on a, on a natural being, you know, um, and, and yeah, the realisation of that is probably the main thing here. So key themes, you've got the idea of like change, um, you know, power shifts, a um, couple of things there. So in the next video, I'm going to now talk about how you could take a couple of these key images and ideas um, to use in your own writing.